The human body is fantastic. Few of us train to the perfect condition of... Most of us may not be in perfect condition. Healthy body, working the way it is supposed to, is something almost everybody enjoys. Especially when we are young, we tend to take good health for granted. Our bodies are rugged. We can knock them around fairly hard. We can fill them full of a lot of things that aren't too good for them and still not seriously damage our health. But there are three things that some people use that can be real health wreckers. Alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes. Alcohol is a health wrecker. People have been drinking alcoholic beverages for thousands of years. They drink them because they enjoy them. But any substance is harmful when it is misused. Alcohol is not just any substance. It is a powerful drug. And sometimes, some people drink too much. By observing how alcohol affects a fish, we can get a good idea of how it affects people. Alcohol added to the water will enter the bloodstream of the fish as he breathes. He will probably have a bad headache when he recovers, but we won't give him enough to kill him. Intoxication is the term we use to describe the overall effect of alcohol. In more everyday terms, we call it drunkenness. However we choose to describe him, it's pretty obvious that too much alcohol has put our fish in a very unhealthy condition. When a 150 pound man takes a drink containing one half ounce of alcohol, the alcohol reaching his brain begins to affect his ability to make decisions. Three drinks impair reaction time and coordination. Vision, speech, and balance are affected after five drinks. Eight drinks give trouble with walking and standing. If he goes as high as 20 drinks of one half ounce alcohol each, our 150 pound man will lose consciousness. If he could consume 25 before he passes out, he might die. Everyone, sooner or later, will find alcoholic beverages served at social gatherings. The decision to drink or not to drink is a decision which each individual must make for himself. But a person who is mature enough to respect himself and others is not likely to drink too much. A shot of whiskey, a cocktail, a glass of wine, a bottle of beer, each of these contains about the same amount of alcohol, about one half ounce of a powerful drug that changes the way the body functions. Think twice about alcohol. Alcohol can be a health wrecker. Drugs can be health wreckers. In medical use, drugs can help a sick or injured body to function in a normal way. With the use of all drugs, skill and knowledge are required. The right drug, the right amount, helps with medical problems. 
the wrong drug, the wrong amount, can cause great harm. Why do people without medical problems take drugs? They have problems of another kind. They want to feel better. They may have family problems. A problem of having nothing to do. Or of fitting in with a group which has already begun a drug habit. Used by persons who know nothing about them, drugs can do permanent injury to vital organs of the body. They sometimes cause death. Personal problems are very real problems. But everyone who ever sought escape through the drug habit found their problems still there when the drugs wore off. Are drugs for personal problems, or are they for injury and sickness? Think twice about drugs. Drugs can be health wreckers. Cigarettes are health wreckers. Cigarettes are made of finely cut tobacco leaves. A smoker lights one end and sucks the other to fill his lungs with smoke. Smoke is a waste product of burning. We usually think of smoke as destructive and dangerous. Our cities are trying to reduce the amount of smoke in the air. Yet millions of Americans have the unhealthy habit of breathing smoke on purpose. Smoking is a habit that is very hard to get rid of once it's started. The earlier you start, the harder it is to quit. A smoker becomes almost a slave to his health-wrecking habit. It is easy to drift into smoking. Everyone knows people who smoke. It can seem like a natural thing to do. It may seem like the in thing to do. People have been telling us all our lives that smoking is a desirable thing to do. They want us to feel that smoking will make us more rugged or more feminine or more sophisticated. If we will just try their brand, the world will be more enjoyable. The people that tell us this are concerned with one thing, selling cigarettes. But consider what some other people have to say. Doctors have spent their lives studying the body and its health. A doctor will tell you that smokers risk serious diseases. A new smoker won't end up in a doctor's office right away, but each cigarette is affecting him. Each cigarette is a tiny step toward an eventual health problem. This label is required by law. If smoking Sam could talk, he'd tell you why. Sam was made to smoke cigarettes in much the same manner as people do. He will give us an idea of what smoking does to human lungs. What will smoking do for Sam? Will he be more rugged? Will he be more sophisticated? What will happen to Sam's lungs after he has smoked a few packages of cigarettes? It really doesn't matter if Sam smokes. 
Thar and nicotine won't hurt Sam because his lungs are only glass. He won't get lung cancer. He won't get heart disease because Sam's lungs aren't real and are worked by a pump. He won't get a lung disease called emphysema, which makes breathing very difficult. Only real people get these diseases. It doesn't matter if Sam smokes, but how about you? Can you imagine what your lungs would have to deal with if Sam's lungs look like this after smoking a few packs of cigarettes? The decision not to smoke must be made many times. As with most decisions, it's up to you. If you start, you're beginning a habit that is very hard to get rid of, if you should ever want to quit. You are deciding about a habit that includes things like this. Is smoking something to drift into or something to decide about? Think twice about cigarettes. Cigarettes are health records. Good health is an important part of a good life. A lot of people enjoy life more without too much alcohol. Without abusing drugs. without polluting their lungs with cigarette smoke. Think twice. The living's better without the health record.